Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's amazing. Um, and right on. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about the future. Um, David Rose, who has done many wonderful things, but currently is an instructor at MIT, is going to come talk to us about some exciting technology. So please welcome David to the stage. There you <laughs> Thank go. You. Thank you. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> I have a technology out of MIT that you may not have seen before, and it needs you. It needs your help to think about how to apply this. The big idea that we've pursued is you've all, how many people have posted a photo on social today? Oh my gosh, that's everybody. Well, you're not alone. There, were, there are 1.8 billion photos that are posted on social every single day. It's overwhelming. And most of them don't have any sort of hashtag or descriptive text underneath. They're just photos, photos of people at the beach or photos of people doing the things they're most passionate about. Um, and our aspiration at a new startup out of, out of MIT called Ditto is to try to understand what's in the photo. And I want to explain to you what we're doing with that and, and, and get you to think about what would it mean to maybe your business to have computer vision as a service meaning something you could just tap into in order to read all these photos. So today we find logos, faces, products, scenes, clothing, all automatically with a bunch of computers that are in the cloud. And the sort of the big idea here is you don't need hashtags in order to find people's behavior. This is sort of digital ethnography. We find, you know, we've been putting this to work for brands to try to figure out, like, what are people putting mustard on these days? Or, or can you find some of the fabulous shoes that have been on stage here <laughs> earlier today? Um, but we take photos from all these social streams, from Twitter, from Instagram, from Tumblr, and we process them all in order to find you know, 5,000 or so brands, about a couple thousand other objects. Um, and, and then we make that available and, and allow people to measure that over time. But I don't think this audience cares really about the brand application or the ad tech application. So I want to talk about two things that we have done that, I, that are relevant to this, to this audience. You can see where photos are posted. Um, some of the brands that we are working on are like Samsung, who wants to know uh, what's the important moment to reach out to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or a, a soccer club who wants to know who are, the, who are the sort of organic fans, who are the people that are wearing the brand and premature. We've been working with the University of Chicago, um, and the, 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 uh, there's a research group there called Health Media Collaboratory, and they're trying to look at smoking behavior in youth. So they've been using this tool, and we've been finding smoking and all the smoking brands um, in order to try to help them do their research. And one of the things that we're seeing is that people are, are taking apart cigarellos and re-rolling them. And as a result, you know, with pot, and, <laughs> <laughs> and as a result, there's still a residue of nicotine inside, and so people are getting addicted because of the nicotine, not because of the pot, to the behavior, which um, you know, is something new that they're learning and, and something that I think is really important. So this is just this is this technology being applied to this sort of uh, behavior to try to research to do di digital ethnography rather than doing surveys. The second thing that I wanted to mention is uh, we're working with a uh, a big health system in Florida to try to look at eat at what people are eating. How many people have posted foods what they eat? Did, how many people knew that if you post what you eat, that can be interpreted by algorithms that understand whether that's pizza or Yes, you do know. <laughs> so we're finding, I mean, this, these are some of the, 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 the photos that people are posting, like lunch, or hello darkness, we meet again for Oreos, <laughs> or <laughs> most nutritious breakfast ever, um, uh, or may or may not have just eaten a whole tub. Uh, so what we can do in, from a machine learning perspective and from a computer vision perspective is we can classify what's in the photo, not just the brands, but the fact that those are pictures of ice cream or that's guacamole or that people are eating in a restaurant or in a train station or at the beach or in a synagogue or, you know, we get both the what's in the photo and the context for its use. 
So my question for you guys is, like, what should we do with this, right? Like, you could just look at all the photos and learn, and you might learn something for something that you're working on. I mean, we recently looked for ISIS flags in photos, gun ownership in photos, um, boats, the presence of boats in photos. Like, I'm not sure what you want to recognize in all these photos, but it shows a new audience of people that are doing something, that are passionate about something, that you can then recruit directly through social media. What the hospital system is doing is, is recognizing when people eat, eat things that are good for them and then giving them points, sort of gamifying food, but without requiring an app, doing it directly in the context of social streams. So how would you put these photos to work? I really want to know, and I've got one right now. <laughs> Do you want to tell me? What were you thinking? Say again. Oh, acts of kindness and courage. That's good. I wonder if that. I, I wonder what exactly you might you might uh, capture that would characterize that. Hmm. Right, an action. Yeah, we could certainly detect that. So please reach out to me if you want to see a live demo of these photos streaming across social. You can go to streamditto.com. Password is ditto, and um, I'm David, and I would love to hear from you. Thank you.